Morning everybody, welcome to uh, Lockdown Practical, Production Practical. The format's going to be for this session is that you watch uh, a video of me doing a demonstration of a dish or a few dishes and then hopefully you'll get the chance to practice these dishes if you can get all the ingredients in your own kitchen. If you can't, make sure you write the recipe down then you can use the recipe as evidence or when we come to practice these dishes when hopefully you come back to college. First dish that we're going to do uh, for this week, we're going to practice one of the level two end assessment dishes which is titled a grain based amuse bouche which I've made as interesting as I possibly can and we're going to do an arancini which is going to be filled with Lancashire cheese flavoured with saffron we're going to serve it with a homemade herb mayonnaise. So hopefully that should stretch you a little bit, give you a few skills that you may have already and you may not have. Level twos have already made risotto. Level threes should have made risotto several times for the arancini. Uh, level ones might be a new skill for you guys. So uh, it's something to look forward to for next year, possibly to sort of get you on the right track. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to uh, show you a still picture of the ingredients that we've got uh, for today. So first part of the dish is making the mayonnaise. Really really simple recipe but several things can go wrong. So I've got in this bowl three egg yolks, I've got a teaspoon of English mustard, and I've got some vegetable oil, but I've made this into a herb oil to give it some colour. Uh, a plain mayonnaise would just be made with plain vegetable oil. And I've also got some seasoning as well. Okay, so the ratio is three egg yolks, 250 ml of oil, a teaspoon of English mustard, and a touch of seasoning. We start off with a clean bowl, clean whisk, a touch of salt, and then a touch of white pepper as well. And then I'm going to just pop in the English mustard and then I'm going to start to whisk those ingredients together. Okay, now this seems really, really straightforward, but several things can go wrong in this process. We're working in quite a cold kitchen this morning because it's winter time, so there's a possibility that our oil could be cold. This needs to be lukewarm, it needs to be at room temperature, otherwise the mayonnaise will split. If the eggs are old, it can also split as well. And if we add the oil too quickly, well then it can split as well. So we need to add the oil at a drizzle, not just pouring the whole amount in at once. Okay, so I'm gonna drizzle the oil in really, really slowly. So we start off by whisking, and I start to add the oil, just drizzling really, really slowly. Okay, so a little bit of oil, Start to whisk, bring it together. Ideally, you'd do this with another person so that you can, the person whisking can hold on to the bowl and the other person can just drizzle the oil in. Okay, I haven't got that luxury today, so I'm uh, sort of a one man band. I'm gonna keep on adding that oil until I've added the whole 250 mils. Okay, so I've got to a stage now where I've added most of my oil and the mayonnaise is really really quite thick what I forgot to mention at the beginning is there is another ingredient and that's white wine vinegar we just need that just to add a little bit of sharpness to our mayonnaise and also to thin it out slightly so I'm just going to add a few drops of white wine vinegar just to that sort of finished product just for that sharpness and it just thins it out ever so slightly and just makes it easier to use if you haven't got white wine vinegar at home, you can use malt vinegar. It's a little bit of a harsher flavour, but it's, it's very, very uh, okay to use. And then if you've used so much vinegar that it's still not thin enough, but it's getting really, really sharp, well then you can use a little bit of water in there as well to finish it off. Okay, so this is virtually done now. I've just got to taste it, and then if I need to season it anymore, I will do. And then I'm going to put it into a squirty bottle or some kind of implement so that it looks good when I put it on the plate. 